Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. Time right now is 716 on this Wednesday morning and a lot of people across our region waking up to some snow this morning and a taste where everyone's waking up. Just a taste. Mm -hmm. It's not a lot of snow, but it's enough to cover over the roads. And of course, it lines up right with the morning commute. So you'll want to add some extra time as you're stepping out the door this morning. This is the latest view of Storm Tracker, though. The snow certainly more broken up now than it was even a couple of hours ago. We'll zoom in and show you what's happening here in southern Vermont. See a couple areas of snowfall near Weston, Wardsboro, just north of Brattleboro. The snow a bit steadier along Route 4 between Rutland and Lebanon. And you'll see some broken snow showers here in central Vermont, also into the Northeast Kingdom. I know you don't see anything on radar. We're getting plenty of reports that snow is coming down, though. Just tough to see with the radar from time to time. That's 108 in Stowe on your way to the resort. You'll find some snow covered roads, but the snow not coming down super heavy at this hour. And as we look farther west where all the weather comes from, you'll see it's drying out pretty quickly across northern New York. Still some steady snow along Route 11, so there will be some areas of slick travel at least for the next couple of hours. We want to get you right out to the roads though with Marissa Vigevini. She's still surveying conditions at this hour in parts of central Vermont. And Marissa, how's it looking out there? Well, Ben, we went through the downtown Waterbury area and the roads were looking pretty good, a little bit slushy because they have been putting treatment down to stay ahead of it. A lot of people we were seeing were kind of waiting for the school bus, so that's kind of where people are heading out the door right now. I'll show you what it's looking like in front of us. We escaped downtown around the, wa the Rotary and Waterbury, and we're just dealing with some snow-covered roads on Route 2 right along the Winooski River in the Waterbury area. So you can see certainly snow covered. It looks like there was some sand and salt put down here, which is good news for people traveling. We see a few plows here in the distance. The air temperature about 28 degrees, so we're definitely trending closer and closer to the freezing point. So I think we're definitely going to struggle to accumulate any more snow on the surfaces, but I will certainly keep you updated on the conditions as the morning rolls on. But that's all from me on Route 2 in the Waterbury area. Ben, I'll send it back to you for the rest of the forecast. All right, thanks so much, Marissa. And the snow-covered roads will be with us for at least a little while longer. Most of the day, however, is dry and cloudy. South breeze will send our temperatures well into the 30s, but then more rain arrives for the evening. And critically, it doesn't get above freezing for everybody. We'll show you what I mean here on Futurecast. The snow moves out. Here comes the rain by about 6 o'clock, raining for most of us. But the pink color here on the map, that indicates sub-freezing temperatures in eastern Vermont and parts of the St. Lawrence Valley. Those are the locations that could see some ice with the rain that comes through tonight into early tomorrow. Now, it should be gone by very early Thursday. So we're not expecting a lot of ongoing precipitation, say, this time tomorrow, but anywhere where the ice has happened, you know, takes a while for that to leave. And then we've got another round of rain that comes in very early Friday morning, and it's a lot of the same areas that have the risk for some icy travel, again, east of the Green Mountains into pockets of northern New York. So in terms of the ice early tomorrow morning, it's uh, again eastern Vermont, northeast Kingdom, Essex County, and especially the St. Lawrence River Valley. And Friday morning, a very similar look, although a little more widespread across eastern Vermont by then. So a busy end to the week expected. Saturday looking dry, still watching that storm potential for Sunday. Back to you.